I agree with him and all of us here agree with uh, Girls in Tech program, which is intended to develop the girls. The development of world-class talent in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is critical to global leadership of any nation. Fostering an open and diverse scientific community that draws from an array of unique experiences and viewpoints is a necessary step to realizing this goal. Women in STEM jobs, as it's already been mentioned, earn 33% more than those in non-STEM occupations. And STEM careers offer women the opportunity to engage in some of the most exciting realms of discovery and technological innovations. As technology has become more and more commoditized, commoditized, the skill level required is focused on providing value and service to customers as well as solutions. If you've heard of this company called Ospicon, the inventor of the world's first patented breath optics. It is designing smart mats to care for infants and the elderly. For infants, healthy and abundant sleep is vitally important, ensuring that they are able to rest, grow, and develop during the first few months of their lives. Many parents lose sleep themselves during these months, worrying that their newborns aren't sleeping properly. The Ospicon sleep mat tempers their concerns by monitoring a baby's breathing pattern using fiber optic sensors, communicating information and any other irregularities via a smart app. Throughout the night, the mat also notes the child's breathing to create a sleep log. Wouldn't we have laughed at a product like this about 50 years back? Where is the need to leave your child to a, a nap or to a smart mat? But whereas the future is going to require it with nucleus families and single mothers. So that is where the first mover's advantage comes in. Researchers in Singapore have developed an empathetic robotic polar bear to serve as a companion for the elderly. The robot read and respond to human emotions. You tell this to your grandfather or grandmother at home, don't be, don't be shocked if you get a slap on your face. Leaving me to a robo, how dangerous could it be? But well, the researchers in Singapore think that this is the right thing to be doing to at least have a robo to attend to an elderly person. The iPhone maker registered the domain names which include apple.car and apple.auto.car. Automobile engineering has become a prime area of interest for Silicon Valley tech companies, including Google Incorporation, which has built a prototype self-driving car. So this calls for probably mergers and acquisitions uh, between car manufacturers. Probably Benz would be taken over by Google or Google would take over Benz, who knows. Nanotechnology is the science of greeting and working with materials about one nanometer wide or one billionth of a meter. A human hair is about eight lakh nanometer wide. A toilet that does not need water, a sewage system or external power, but instead uses nanotechnology to treat human waste, produce clean water and keep smell at bay, is being developed by Cranfield University in Britain. They're developing the toilet as part of the global initiative launched by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The weather forecast, climate change, what we eat, 
illnesses and allergies, methods of transportation, the electronics that fill your house, are all areas of science that surround the girls. Scientific theory fires her imagination when connected to current or domestic affairs or when she can empathize. Math is meant to be hard. Tell her that. It stretches her brain just as physical activities stretch her body. The more she stretches, the easier it gets. I have stretched myself. I'm an example for that. I wasn't too good at math. The first time I got a score of 35. And finally, when I passed my 10th exams, I had a score of 95. So that is because I stretched myself. Today, I have a different story to tell you when compared to Vanita Datla. We are two daughters. My father, being a veterinary doctor, started an industry in poultry. And he encouraged us right from our childhood. And I was groomed to become his successor to take over his business. That, that's, that is the way I was groomed. I, was, I come from a town called Chittur, which is uh, very close to Tirumala, Tirupati. But I was sent to uh, schools like Kalakshetra, which is in Chennai. I went to school in my sixth standard. I was there for about 11 years in hostels, trying to get good education. Even though my father wanted me to take over his business, and I wanted to, but somewhere along I had the passion for medicine. So I tried very hard, but I missed uh, by 2 percentage. I missed at 92 percent, while the admission stopped at 94 percent in that, e in that year. Probably being a forward cast stopped me, because all my uh, students, co students who got lesser marks could get into medicine that year. So then on I went to do uh, English literature, and then I did master's in uh, business administration at Coimbatore PSG College of Tech. Uh, I, w I got into my father's business, and after a year I got a proposal from uh, Sri Ramaji Ragaru's family, Inadu family, Mr. Kiran. But since I had this passion in me, and I knew that I wouldn't be just uh, happy being a homemaker, not that uh, I always clarify that uh, homemakers are great, no doubt about it, uh, because they have a very great responsibility towards their children. But in me was this fire to be in business. So I made it very clear to Kiran Garu, my would-be, and he agreed for it. That is when I agreed to get married into this family, even though they were very well-to-do, very well-established. I ensured that my, you know, I could continue with my passion. And my father-in-law, Ramaji Rao Garu was very happy that I was interested in doing business and he gave me a very free hand and uh, I was um, asked to work for Magdar Sichit Funds even though as I told you I was very weak in maths but you know with hard work and a lot of practice I could do well. The same thing happened at Magdar Sichit too. It was my passion which made me enjoy my work and that's how from a company which was 100 crores turnover could be brought to 7,700 crores turnover last year. So if you're passionate, if you're focused, there's nothing that you cannot do. The parents need to give all the encouragement to the children, get them educated well. The family that she goes into, the girl child goes into needs all the support which I enjoyed from my husband and also from my children, very cooperative. And finally, the institutions and organizations should not be gender biased. And it is up to you, individual, who will take on this challenge and prove yourself. Finally, the fire has to be in, in you. Even if you are given the opportunity, I know many IITNs, IIM girl students, who have just remained to be homemakers. So good, good luck to all of you and all the very best. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, one and all, one and all. Jai Hind.